Hello, welcome back to my Solar Journey series. And it's been six months since I've had my solar panels installed. So now I thought it would be a good time to look back at the previous six months. And also that happens to coincide with the UK autumn and winter and see how well my solar panels have performed, uh, how much money they've generated through having uh, self-use and saving on my energy bills and how much I've exported back to the grid and also ask the question how well do solar panels work in the UK winter. If you're new to the channel uh, welcome uh, please hit the subscribe button. Um, over the past six months I've been documenting my uh, solar journey in this series um, and also making some videos about what my thoughts were and which people can also take it as, vi as advice videos. Um, and as most YouTubers say, please hit the subscribe button. It is really important because um, there was probably an advert at the beginning of this video that you had to sit through at least five seconds of. YouTube put that there. I have no control over that. But YouTube take the, the ad revenue for that because I haven't got enough subscribers. So hitting that subscribe button will be a massive help to me. Okay, so what I'm going to do in this video is just look through the different months that I've had um, over the past six months, how much um, energy I generated in each of those months, how much money was made from seg payments and savings, how much I paid for import from the grid, um, what the percentage reliance was on the grid, and then I'll sum that up all at the end. So going back to August uh, 2022, on the 24th, of August I had my solar panels and battery system uh, commissioned and installed. On the roof I've got 12 Q cell 385 uh, kilowatt panels which totals 4.65 kilowatts and that uh, feeds into a Solis 5 kilowatt inverter and then that feeds either the house or into a 5 kilowatt hour pure drive battery. Our house is south facing, it's based in Swansea or on top of a hill, there's no shading. There's a little bit of shading from the shared uh, chimney stack, but we have some optimizers on the panels that will be affected by that. So that gives you a little bit of uh, background to what our system is. And in general, we use between six and seven kilowatt hours per day. We also have a gas central heating and gas hob as well so that's where our electricity use and there's two of us in this three bedroomed house so that's why our electricity use is, is reasonably low. So starting off in August obviously we only had a week in August and in that week we generated 143 kilowatt hours and in that week we used uh, 45 kilowatt hours in total of which 43 we used ourselves so we would have exported 100 back to the grid however at that time I didn't have my seg payment set up that was set up with so energy and started on the 21st of September so I was getting no payment from that so in uh, August that means I'd saved a total on my bill, energy bills of eight pounds and uh, 45 pence and I paid on import 42 pence I should say I'm a British gas customer I fixed my tariff back in 20 August 2021 and it was a two and a half year fixed tariff so it doesn't run out until March 2024 which in hindsight was actually really good because we've had massive energy increases energy price increases in the UK um, so my uh, import rate is about 19 pence per kilowatt hour compared to the current government price cap of 34 pence but of course that does affect my payback period talking of payback period I have got a video which I'll link to just up here where I discuss all the factors of payback period um, and whether there is such a thing as a payback period when you've already bought an asset which is sat on your roof which will hopefully increase the price of your house anyway so that's something else to consider. Oh, and I should say that the um, system we installed cost us about £8,500. Okay, so moving on to September. In September, we obviously had a full month, and that was 427.9 kilowatt hours. Um, we, every month, we use roughly 200 to 210 kilowatt hours. We were a little bit lower in September, where we only used 190 of which 170 
9.2 we was generated ourselves and therefore we relied on the grid for 11.74 kilowatt hours which meant that we were 6.15% reliant on the grid. Um, in terms of money, that means we spent £2.30 on import. I should say also that the import doesn't include the stand-in charge, um, as we can't do anything about that. Um, we saved um, on our energy bill £135.09. And because of that last sort of nine days when we had the SEG payment, um, even though we would have exported the best part of 250 kilowatt hours we only made four pounds uh, four pounds 75 because again the first three weeks we didn't have a seg payment uh, system set up now we're into october so we're really into the autumn months now oh, by the way i'm classing autumn as being september october november and winter as december january and february so october we generated uh, around 350 kilowatt hours uh, we self-used 180 of that, 29 imported from the grid, meaning we were 13% reliant on the grid. In money's terms, that meant that um, we spent £5.27 on import. We saved £35.29, and from our SEG payments, we made £8.55. So that's a total of money in, effectively, in October of £43.80. 84 pence. November, it's the last month of autumn, we only generated 177.25 kilowatt hours, so that's actually below our monthly usage of electricity. Uh, we self used of that 129 kilowatt hours, so we imported 71 kilowatt hours from the grid, um, so we were then 35% reliant on the grid. This means that we spent £13.71 on electricity, uh, we saved £25.32, and from our SEG payments, because we had uh, very little um, export, that month we made £2.50. And again, so that adds up to a uh, total money of £27.81 in November. So December, which is our worst month for solar, uh, we, had, we generated even less. We uh, generated 144.04.08 uh, uh, yeah, kilowatt hours. Um, again, we used about uh, 210 in December, um, and self use was 119. So we imported 89 kilowatt hours. So that month we were 41% uh, dependent on the grid. So we're never going to become self sufficient with our system, I think is the best way to think about this. Um, so again, turning that into money, money on import was £16.13, money saved was £23.37, from SEG payments we had £1.55, and again that um, then came up to be a uh, total money in in December of just under £25. I can also look at the savings per day through the 2022, so this is the last four months. So my savings per day was uh, 98 pence, and when you add the SEG payment onto that, it means that my total money per day that I can get in um, from that savings added to the SEG, SEG payment on average was £1.11. Okay, so now we can go on to this year, 2023. Uh, January, um, I thought this would be roughly equal to December, and if you watch my prediction video, um, that's what I said, and it turned out to be roughly right. Uh, we generated a little bit more uh, power, actually it was quite a bit more power, um, or energy in uh, January. It was 114 kilowatt hours. Um, we still used that 110-ish, um, of which 142 was generated ourselves, so we had to import 74 from the grid, which um, came to total £14.45. Uh, um, our total savings was 27, oh, sorry, our, just our save, yeah, our saving on uh, import was 27 pounds and 93 P and our seg was 3 pounds 67. So that totals to be 31 pounds and uh, 59 pence. Um, and we were 34% reliant on the grid. So a little bit lower than we were in December, February. So that's the last month, really sunny day or really quite sunny. We generated 272.6 kilowatt hours. Uh, 
because February is a shorter month, we only used 194 kilowatt hours, of which um, 161 was generated ourselves and we had to import 32.7 kilowatt hours from the grid. Um, so we were 16.88% reliant on the grid. Um, so turning that into money, we we gave British Gas six pounds forty one for our electricity import. Uh, we saved um, thirty one pounds and fifty eight p. Um, that's if we wouldn't have had solar panels, we would have had to actually pay um, that much extra to British Gas. And finally, our seg payment because we had quite a uh, a few days where we were having uh, nearly twenty kilowatt hours generated, so we were exporting quite a back to back to the grid we actually made five pounds 89 in february which is the last of the british uh, uh british winter months um so this year so far so just 2023 we're saving about a pound a day so that's actually quite comparable to last year um but the because we're getting this excess in export um we are actually equivalent uh, uh, making the equivalent of one pound 16 a day at the moment and I say that's in the winter months as well, so that's only going to go up as we hit the middle of the year. So now I can actually combine all that together. So it means that um, we have generated, since um, having these solar panels, uh, 1,731.4 kilowatt hours. And that um, mean and our usage in that time is roughly twelve hundred. So we've exported five hundred kilowatt hours to the grid. Um, it also means that we are twenty three point nine percent reliant on the grid over the autumn and winter months. So again, as we go into spring and summer, that number should actually start coming down. Um, in terms of uh, money savings, um, so. The money we have saved by not giving it to British Gas is £187.64. I should say this is actually included in the 1st of March as well. Um, I can't be bothered going back and just taking out that last day. But it was, only, it was basically a matter of about 60 or, uh, 60 or 80 pence, so not that far off. Um, the money we've actually spent on import was uh, £58.94. and pence. So you can see where our savings come from. If we didn't have solar panels, we would have spent um, £245. We've actually, only, we've actually spent less than £60 in six months. So less than, that's on average 10, less than £10 a month on electricity import. Um, and because of the export, uh, we've made £26.91 from that. So our actual money we've saved from not sending to British Gas plus our import actually totals Two hundred and fourteen pounds and fifty-five pence. Um, so, yes, yeah, solar panels in the UK probably are worth it um, if you have got a sort of energy uses like us. Um, there are things that we've had to change about our lifestyles to accommodate this. So um, we now put the washing machine on and dishwasher on only when the sun, when it's particularly sunny, or if there's. We obviously we have to if there's in December when there was periods of. Um, constant cloud and there wasn't much solar generation but um, so for instance I could have put the dish the washing machine uh, the washing machine on yesterday um, I've waited for till today because um, we got sunny sunny weather so uh, there's been some lifestyle changes like that um, instead of cooking fins on the gas hob if it's sunny I now cook them in the grill um, we've also started using a slow cooker more often but that might be actually just good advice for anybody because it's a quite a cheap way of um, cooking so yes, it does seem to work out, and obviously we've got some. Da I've got some data now which I can actually use to extrapolate forward. Um, so we are going to assume that the spring and summer months are going to be much better than the winter months. So it should mean that we each year, including those seg payments, because we basically missed twelve pounds of seg payments, waiting for the seg payment system to be set up by that twenty uh, first of September. That would actually mean that we would have had total money in this year of um, about £227. Um, so we could just double everything and just look, let's say, that our uh, predicted solar generation is one uh, is 
3,400 uh, 3, kilowatt-hours. Um, our total money saved from not paying British gas will be roughly £380. Um, money from SEG will be in the region of £80, which means that the, that means a total saving of... Um, what's that, about uh, uh, £450-odd pounds-ish. Um, and our money on import would be just under £120 mark. But because we got those better days, I'm actually thinking that we'll be probably closer to being paying off £500 a year, or making £500 a year, and our actual money on import will be around the £90-100 mark, which still tallies with the production that I made at the beginning of the year in that video then. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. As I say, please hit that subscri subscribe button um, to keep up to date with this sort of content and also if you are thinking of getting solar panels yourself. And I'll see you in another video very soon.